Hi there and welcome. The holidays are, are, we're in the throes of it and I thought this would be a lovely time to not only enjoy a bit of holiday tipple in the form of uh, rosé bubbly but also share with you my selection that I think will serve you well during holiday meal times. So in no particular order, let us now begin. First, I would like to um, share with you tobacco vini. I think this is quite an obvious holiday, as well as holiday mealtime choice. I mean, this is... Oh, mm. Okay, yes, I will elaborate further at another time, but tobacco vini, part of Tom Ford's private blend. Wonderful, excellent, obvious choice for holiday mealtime. Next I have for you, Serge Luton's Santal Majuscule. This is um, a more recent launch. And to me, to simplify it, it smells of cacao, sandalwood, woodsy, and rose. A very wonderful formula, not a whole lot of complexity or development, and that's precisely why it is dependable. I think that during a meal, not only is it the arrangement of the food, the way it's presented, but also the aromas that waft from the prepared meal that really um, sort of elevate the culinary experience. And so it's nice to select fragrances that don't necessarily distract, detract, or even clash with a meal. So for, you know, in large part, that's how I've um, selected these fragrances today that I'll be sharing with you. Next, um, I have uh, Diptyque's Tom Dao. I think this is not necessarily an obvious choice as it doesn't quite have that um, suggestive and appropriate gourmand feel. But I think that the holidays can be very hectic and um, uh, at times stressful for a lot of us and, and there is nothing like this fragrance that will put you in a tranquil, relaxing, sort of serene mood. And I think it's a, um, a wonderful choice uh, for the holidays as well as for uh, during a holiday meal. And what's wonderful about this fragrance, as well as this one, is that they are not uh, lengthy commitments. They are the last four hours or so, and then you know you can select another fragrance to apply. Uh, tobacco Vini is a little bit more of a commitment, but the there's that gourmandy factor is uh, so appropriate. So my next choice is Tom Dao, and then I have for you um, Hermes's Eau de Gentian Blanche. Um, Mm. This is, I think, uh, an unexpected choice. It's got a distinctive, savory, peppery, caspium quality that I really do appreciate. This fragrance is um, fine on a woman, very you know, on the drier side, certainly doable, but on a man, this really excels. It blooms, it sings, there's a, um, there's a certain quality about it. I find it very like in a warm, savory, aromatic, woodsy way, very welcoming and non-threatening. There's, there's um, just a wonderful quality about the scent that I think would be great for um, during a holiday meal. And I have for you as well, um, Memoir Woman. Now this is a little more daring of a choice. It is also more of a commitment, but it is dense, kind of rich and syrupy with a lot of depth. Um, it doesn't offer a great deal of complexity and development. And that's why I think it's it works. This is a commitment. This has um, enormous longevity, 
pronounced siage. This is a commitment. Um, I love it. I think it's... Uh, Mm, and it's got a certain leather quality that I really, really appreciate. This is a wonderful choice. Um, it's a little more daring and um, maybe an unobvious choice, but I think it works I, because of the um, lack of uh, forefront florals. And I have for you as well, um, Noir de Noir. Uh, I think this is a great choice. It is, again, a sort of um, intimate, warmer scent, yet because of that kind of, um, it's got that cacao, bitter, aromatic uh, quality, I think this works as well. So, uh, I admit, um, I, fooled, I perhaps fooled you again. Uh, I offered five, but I've got a bonus six. So, there you are. This is my selection. Cheers. Cheers.